Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Grace Abound. Good morning, Anointed to Praise. Good morning, Sister Pinckney. Good morning, DJ Forgiven. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Gibson. God bless you. Sister Dorset. Good morning, Sister Pam. Good morning, Tamika. God bless you, Patia. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Banks. Good morning, Pat. Pastor and Lady Young and the Young Family and the Rock Church of Brockton. Good morning, Mika. Good morning, Tiana. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Terrence and the family. Good morning, Sister Margot. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, your family and all the saints of Trinidad, Tobago. Good morning, Sister Miriam. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Elder and Sister Adams. God bless you. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and the family. Good morning, Sister Matthews. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Keelan. God bless you. Good morning, Jim. God bless you. We're praying for you and Elaine's family. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Chambliss. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Wright. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Wilkins. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Domingo. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Caldwell. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop Alde. God bless you, Lady Alde and your family and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning, Brother Paul. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Minister and Sister Dawes. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Keith. God bless you, sir. Praying for you. Good morning, Sister Sarah. God bless you. Good morning, Latasia. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Carmelita. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Morris. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Smithers. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Mother Wilson. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Street. Good morning, Sister Clark. God bless you and Deacon Clark. Good morning, Minister Hodges. God bless you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Duchess. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Missionary Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Harmon. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer for more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And every single day we see the blessings of God, God's keeping, God's provision, God making a way, God opening a door, God doing what God does. And he does it every single day. The Bible says, hallelujah, his mercies are made new every morning. So today we rose up and woke up to new mercies and we're grateful to God 
for that, knowing, hallelujah, that God does indeed hear and answer prayer. And we are walking this faith walk with him and seeing the blessings of God pour out among the people of God. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, please place it into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it there in the chat or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody on the conference call, and we thank God for all of our conference call listeners, they're praying every morning. There are fire starters that get the fire going with prayer each morning. Everybody on um, YouTube who joins us, we thank God for you. Please join us in prayer or anybody can text in their prayer request to 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. Again, the number to text in your prayer request is three three six five six seven five three five eight. You can text in your prayer request. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for miracle signs and wonders. Come on and join me right now in the Word of God. You'll find us once again in the Book of Proverbs. We're in the closing. Verses of Proverbs chapter number 13, and I want to read verses 22 through 25. Proverbs chapter 13, verses 22 through 25. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Much food is in the tillage of the poor, but there is that that is destroyed for want of judgment. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. The righteous eateth to the satisfying of the soul, but the belly of the wicked shall want. The belly of the wicked shall want. And I want to speak to you for just a few moments today from the subject. Let me make sure I get the subject right. Give me, give me a second. I seem to have lost my place. Give me just a second. I'm going to talk about the blessing or the responsibility of children. I'll give you the exact subject in just a second. Here we go. There we go. Look after our children. That's the subject. Look after our children. You know, children are a blessing from the Lord. Um, Some of us have had planned families. That means we planned when we would have children and we and they came when we asked them to come or when we produced them so they could come. Um, Others of us um, had the children that surprised us. Um, We figured out what caused children to be conceived, but we weren't planning it. We thought it was the wrong time. Um, But nevertheless, the children were a blessing from the Lord. Um, Some of us have been blessed to have children early in life, late in life. But whenever children come, they are a blessing. Um, We enjoy having them. We enjoy their laughter, their playfulness, their childlike wonder. Um, But children are a responsibility. And it's important. My mother said to me years ago that children don't ask to be born. Um, They don't ask to come. They come as the result of the actions of adults. Two people had to do something in order for children to be conceived and to be birthed. And so when that responsibility comes, it's important that we are prepared for the responsibility. That's why the ideal and the perfect will of God for the birthing of children is a husband and a wife, hallelujah, raising their family. Husband and a wife through the act of intimate love, conceiving children, and that child is born into a family that's prepared, a family that's expecting, a family that wants to raise and care for children. A lot of children, and there is a, um, unfortunately, a rising number of neglecting parents, 
rising number of abusive parents, a rising number of parents that are ill-prepared for the realities of having children. The end result is that we have lots of children, unfortunately, in the foster care system, lots of children that are being raised by grandmothers, hallelujah, sometimes great-grandmothers, great-grandfathers that are raising the children of their children because for whatever reason, those children are not able or even if they are able, sometimes are not willing to care for their own children. And what a tragedy it is when you discover, hallelujah, people who um, did what it took to conceive a child, but won't do what it takes, hallelujah, to raise a child. And that's why we ought to be teaching our young people responsibility. We ought to be teaching our children, hallelujah, that you've got to be careful in your life choices because there are sometimes people that are impacted that didn't ask for those choices. They didn't ask, you know, if you've raised your children, if you've raised your family, you didn't ask to raise your grandchildren. Now we know things happen. God forbid people, hallelujah, pass away. Hallelujah. My, my sister is raising, hallelujah, her granddaughter because her daughter, hallelujah, was killed. And, 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 and those things happen. But when it's just a matter of irresponsibility, when it's just a matter of somebody not doing what they're supposed to do, hallelujah, it's a problem. And so we are charged. We are charged with the care and the raising of our children. We are charged with looking after them and it involves the entire life. Let me just be very clear that you have, if you're a parent, you have a responsibility for your child's entire life, not just when they're a baby in arms and not just when they're a toddler and not just when they start kindergarten at five years old, but all the way through life. You know, I've discovered as, hallelujah, a parent, of adult children that my children still need me. They don't necessarily need me to, to feed them and clothe them. They should be able to do that for themselves, but they do need our counsel. They need my wife's and my counsel, our support, our encouragement, our lifting up their goals and ambitions. They still need that even though my children are adults. And so don't think that you that you abdicate, hallelujah, or you give up your role. Your role changes. Yes, your role as a parent changes as your children age and grow, but you will always have a responsibility to look after your children. There are too many people out here that feel like nobody cares about them. There are too many people out here that feel like nobody is invested in them. And our children, whether they're five or 15 or 25, need to know that their parents care for them and their parents love them. Now let's look at the text here in verse number 22. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children. A good man. You don't, you don't only just live your life and raise your kids, but the goal is that somehow, hallelujah, through wisdom and prudence and frugality and care that you will leave something behind for your children. No, your children don't wait for you to die so they can get your money. But it is a good feeling to know that your parent loved you enough to want you to have something. Hallelujah. My mother, hallelujah, always talked about, hallelujah, leaving something behind for my sisters and myself. Hallelujah. And, and, and there were some struggles. And so when she passed away, Way. Hallelujah. There was nothing per se that was left immediately. Hallelujah. But you know what? Almost uh, 14 years later, we got checks. Hallelujah. From attorneys because my mother left something for us and it was her desire and God answered her prayer. And as I opened the envelope and looked at the check, I began to cry because I said, wow, my mother loved me because she wanted to leave something behind for my sisters and myself. You want to leave something for your family. My father has made Made similar provisions to leave something. We're all good and grown, but he wanted to leave something for us. He's still with us, thank God, but he's made provision that when something, when he passes on, when he transitions, there's something left behind for us. That's what you want to do for your children, you and your children's children. In fact, you want to make sure there's something there for the grandchildren, according to the scripture.
scripture. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Now, this is God's transfer of wealth. Hallelujah. That sinners, hallelujah, those that don't do right, those that don't live right, their wealth has been laid up for the just. I believe and I'm going to see the transfer of wealth, hallelujah, from people that didn't care, people that were dishonest, people that were ungodly, laid up for those who have honored and served God. He promised, hallelujah, to open up the windows of heaven, hallelujah, and pour out blessings that we will not have room enough to receive. That's the promise of God. He, it, it, God has a way of providing even for those that cannot provide for themselves. In verse 23, it talks about this lack of justice and that the much food is in the tillage of the poor. God's going to make sure there's provision even for those who may not be wealthy, but they're industrious. They're willing to work. They're willing to do what is necessary to live. But there is that that is destroyed for want of judgment. Those that don't do justice, those that don't do godly, they're going to find themselves in want. God, I know we see sometimes it looks like the rich people who are mean and nasty and ungodly seem to be getting away, but God is going to balance those books. I still believe that. I still believe that there's a just God that's going to balance the books. Hallelujah. And those of us that have struggled, but we've been honest, we've been faithful, we've been diligent, we've worked hard. God's going to make sure there's provision for us. And those who have cheated and connived and done all kinds of dastardly things against people, there's a judgment that's going to come from the house of God and from God rather himself. Look at verse 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. Now, this is important and I want to give this disclaimer. I am in no way advocating the abuse of children. Hallelujah. It is wrong to abuse our kids. It is wrong. Hallelujah. To create injuries to our children in our frustration, in our anger. And you don't discipline your children because you're mad at somebody else. Some people go to work and they have a hard time at work. So they go home and they, they fight at their children. They beat their children. They do all kinds of ungodly things, burning them. There's so many stories of abuse of children. So we're not advocating the abuse of children, but the Bible advocates the discipline of children. And so much of what we see in the land, so much of what we see in the behaviors, the rudeness, the disrespect, the lack of restraint, hallelujah, the, the, the sometimes the crazy actions of children is because somebody did not teach them. Discipline is a part of the teaching of children. It's just one facet is one area. You have to teach your kids right from wrong. You have to teach your kids respect. And the best way you teach it is to model it. Let them see you respect, hallelujah, your spouse. Let them see you respect your siblings. Let them see you respect your parents. Some of us have parents that are still living and it's important that our children see us respect our parents. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Hallelujah. Being courteous, being helpful, being kind. Let them see that so they understand that everybody has accountability to somebody. Let them see you accept, hallelujah, advice from your parents. Let them see that and don't you act like you so grown. You ain't got to listen to your mom or your daddy anymore. Everybody, if you're blessed that your parents are still living, you ought to honor and respect them because the Bible says in that facet, what? Your days will be long upon the earth. Your days will be long. But in the process of of training. There is the discipline. Hallelujah. And discipline, and I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to, I'm not going to rush this. I'll come back this to this tomorrow. But discipline, first of all, involves teaching. You have to teach your children and you teach them by direct instruction. You teach them by giving them guidelines and expectations and you teach them by example. If you don't want it in your house, don't bring it in your house. If you don't want your children to behave in an ungodly fashion, don't you bring that into the house because that confuses that you can't do it, but I can. Something wrong with that paradigm. You can't drink, but I can. You can't smoke, but I can. You 
you can't engage in illicit relationships, but I can. And the first thing that people say, I'm grown. But if you're grown, you ought to be responsible. Let me say it again. If you're grown, you ought to be responsible. And you ought to know that somebody is watching your life. My time is up, but and we're going to come back to this tomorrow because I don't want to rush it because our children deserve the best parents we can be to them. Our children deserve that. Our children deserve that. As I said, my mother told me, they don't ask to be born, but they become our responsibility. So we're going to care for our children according to the word of God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for the word and thank God for all of you. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for life, for health and strength. I thank you, God, for everything you have done. You have kept us last night, and we arose to new mercies, able to get up, able to get prepared to join this great cadre of believers, God, from all over the world. I thank you for the morning prayer family. And whether we have come by Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, however we have arrived in this prayer room, I'm asking you, God, to fill the prayer room with your presence, your glory, your power. Hey, God, fill the prayer room right now, God, with the utterance of your presence today. And God minister to every need, every necessity. Everything, God, that we need. Fill the prayer room, God, with your glory and your power today. Lord, I'm praying right now for every person that's in the prayer room and every name that's on the prayer list God everybody that needs your touch we're praying for them now we're praying my God for Bishop Jones for Pastor and Lady Patton for Pastor Johnson for Shantae Wilkins for Sheila Scott for Sheila Reed for Sheila Johnson for Burnett Smith today for Margot Briscoe for Christina Brown Perez for Shiloh Baptist Church for Kathy Butler for Alanda Brooks today for Brooke Birch this morning we're praying, my God, for Bernard Jackson, for Cynthia Bazden. We're praying, my God, for Mary Dykes. We're praying for Duchess, hallelujah, Horton this morning and her family. We're praying for Missionary Domingo. We're praying, my God, that you remember, oh God, hallelujah, Sir Dendra Stokes, oh God. Remember Deacon James Stokes and the family. We're praying for Dawn Wright. We're praying for Isidore Jackson. We're praying, my God, Hallelujah. Oh God, for Brother Wardlaw Jr. today and Sister Karen Wardlaw. We're praying, my God, for Judy McLeod. We're praying, God, that you remember April Lucinda Pettiford, Nadine Milford Martin, that you pray for Cheryl today, that you pray, pray for Reuben. We pray, my God, for Cynthia Jackson Perry. We pray for Pastor Roger and Lady Sherry Williams today. We pray for Joan Durham and the family. We pray for Ray Cardo this morning. We pray for Caribbean Refuge Temple, for the Herbert family. We pray for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson, God, for your provision, God, and for your protection. We pray for Brother Irvin Johnson, God, for deliverance right now. We pray for Brother, oh God, for Mother Barbara Pittman, for Deacon Lewis. Oh God, we pray for the Mason family. We pray for Kyan and Keelan. We pray for Stacy and Trayvon today. We pray, my God, for Lady Lisa Kinchin. We pray for Sister Seneca Austin. We pray for Sister Edwards, and we pray for the Edwards family, the Myers family, the Butler family family, the Stacy family. We lift up Jamal and Dakasha. We pray for the Greer family. We pray for Sister Deborah Walker today. We pray for Terrence and Manessa. We pray for Miracle God for her deliverance. And we pray for Makeda, my God. We pray for Hodges for strength in the name of Jesus. We lift up, my God, hallelujah, Doris Atkins. We pray, hallelujah, for Jamal and Erica. We pray for Shakita. We pray for Ricky today. We pray for Tony. God, we know you're a deliverer. For Julie, for Adrian, and Mother Gardner this morning. We pray, God, that you remember Elder Jesse Hall, Missionary Gail Leah, Mother, hallelujah, Elizabeth Anderson, Mother Patricia Jordan. We pray, my God, that you remember Deborah Walker today. We pray for At Chica. We pray for Michael and Tanya. We lift up, my God, Kenneth Perry and Keith Perry. We pray for Jackie Hinton. We pray for George Sutton today. We pray for Bettina Hopgood. We lift up Robert Brown. We pray, oh God, for George Miles, for Colleen Hughes. We pray for 
for the glory church of Jesus. We pray for Nita Winston, for Minister Wayne Horton, for Arlene Woodbury, for Mother Beverly Noel. We pray for Patricia Muhammad. We pray for the Assembly Oaks Apartments, for Teresa Page. God, I lift up Refuge Temple Church today and every church that's represented on this line this morning. We pray for Raylene, for Bria, for the Brown family, for the Treadwell family, for Deacon Anthony and Sister Deborah Brown. We pray, my God, for hallelujah, the pastor and Lady Chetron. We pray for Ricky. We pray for Karina. We pray for Daphne Perry, for D. Jamison Green, and for the Rich and Green families. God, everywhere there's a need. God, we pray for your provision. We pray, my God, that you would save to the utmost. God, save, save, save everybody outside of the ark of safety. Wash them in your blood. Deliver them out of their sins and redeem them by the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, we pray today that you remember the backslider today. Those, oh God, that have drifted, those that have wandered, those that have walked away. God, that you would return them back to the fold. God, reclaim them, restore them. And God, I pray today, that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, everybody, oh God, everybody, my God, in the name of Jesus that is downcast, that is burdened, that is broken, that is perplexed, that's in despair, that's discouraged, God, and that you lift their heads now in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying this morning for the healing of the sick everywhere. I'm praying for Sister Glenda Bryant, for Janetta Rogers, for Sylvia Hood, for Melissa Pierce, for Deacon and Mother Wilkins today. I'm praying for Mother Welch. I'm praying for Joanne Rich today. I'm praying for Brother Keith and Sister Vanessa, God. I'm praying for those struggling with central nervous issues, those with liver disease, those with spinal issues, those that are suffering with immune deficiencies, those suffering in their kidneys, those who are diabetics, those that have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, MS, oh God, cancer, whatever the condition is, God, we know that you're a healer. God, I pray today for Lady Davis. I pray, God, that you remember, oh God, Geneva, Dariana, Azaria today. Lord, let your healing virtue prevail. God, remember Phoenicia today. Remember, my God, Bishop Michael Austin. I pray today, God, that you remember Jakiah and Felisa Sawyer. Oh God, remember, my God, Walter Heath. Remember Emma Mott. Remember Beverly McNair, Betty, Barbara Dews. Remember, my God, oh God, Elder Samuel Shandini. God, remember Daquan. Remember, oh God, Thomas Hodge, Sharon Hodge. Remember Elder Tony Lemon today. Remember, oh God, Stacy Watson. Remember, my God, Hilda Paler. Remember, Deborah Dalberry. Remember, my God, Harvey Lucas, Ann Pugh, Renee Davis today, Maddie Ingram. I pray, my God, for Miss Austin. I pray for Geraldine Harmon, for Bryson Dudley, for Liz Welch, for Lamar Blair. I pray, God, for Mother Myers today. God, I pray for Doris Williams. I pray, my God, for Renee's mother. I pray for Arthur Hayes, for Mother Lois Harrison, for Monica, for Denise Dillard, for Mercy. God, everybody, thank you for your healing touch upon Minister Chris Wright. Lord, keep him healthy in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, oh God, hallelujah, missionary Anita Bryant, missionary Teresa Holt. God, send your continued healing virtue upon them. I pray, God, that you remember, my God, Minister Perkins. Remember Daniel and Xavier. Remember, my God, Deacon Adams today. Remember, hallelujah, Deacon and Mother Wilson. Remember, my God, Deacon, hallelujah, and Sister Harris. And I pray for Brother Phil Solomon. I pray, God, that you remember Elder Toll's mother, Elder Toll, Elder Dokes today. God, I'm praying for healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, healing upon the sick everywhere. Remember, my God, Mother Virgie DuBose. Remember, Mother Mary Williams, Mother Perry, Mother Lloyd, Mother Meadows. Remember, Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy. Remember, my God, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary Jesse Brisbane, Missionary Hodges. I pray, God, that you remember Sister Denise McLean, Mother Elizabeth Wilson. God, I pray for Deacon James Grant, for Philip Grant, for Pastor and Lady Winston, Bishop and Mother D today. God, I pray, God, that you remember Apostle and Lady Keith. We pray today that you remember Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Mother Close today, God. Remember Mother Coleman, Sister Shakaya Polk. I pray today for Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Johnny Davis, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop William Jenkins today, Bishop Brian Williams. I pray, God, for Mother Viola Johnson, for Mother Hardy, for Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady Deborah Carter, 
Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Pamela Davenport, for Mother Stokes today. We lift up Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. God, remember Brother Wiggins, Brother and Mother Sherrod, Mother Garin today, Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. God, I pray today that you remember Mother Jill and Mother Pride. I pray, God, that you remember Elder and Mother Dugan. Remember, my God, in your precious name, Elder, hallelujah, and Mother Murray, Brother and Mother, hallelujah, Chambers today. Remember Mother Carter, Mother, Mother Moorhead. Remember Brother Keith today, God. Remember in the name of Jesus, Lady Staten. We pray for Minister Carr. We pray, my God, that you remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith today. God, I'm praying that you remember Mother Foster Henry J, Brother Cliff. God, look on, hallelujah, Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons today. I pray for Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. Lord, remember them now. Oh, God, I pray, God, that you remember Marlette, that you remember Maurice today with your healing virtue, Tony and Dennis and Kimberly. God, remember Cynthia. Remember Mother Jackson today, Apostle Moultrie. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, go and visit every hospital, every nursing home, every rehab center, because even in hospice, God, you remain the healer. God, I pray for the grieving today. I pray, oh God, for Sister Jim Lee, and I pray, God, that you remember, my God, the family of Elaine. God, we pray, God, that you remember Nicole and Kayla and Simone and Riley and Dee Dee Bradley and the Bradley family. Remember, my God, Pastor Dalton and his family. Remember Deacon and Sister Frazier and their family. Remember the Troublefield family. Remember Evelyn Johnson and family. Remember, my God, the family of Bishop Curvy Brown and the Greater Deliverance Temple. God, strengthen them. Remember, my God, the family. Oh, God, and remember Bishop Horace Michael and his family today. I pray for Bishop and Lady Forehand, Bishop and Mother Jenkins. I pray for the Obama Robertson family, for Elder Young and his family, for the family of Reverend Harry Williams. I pray for District Elder Shy, Hallelujah, Deacon Michael Shy and the Shy family. I pray for Minister Jamie Carr and his family. I pray for Mother Sally Carr and her family. I pray for Sister Janelle Rousen, oh God, and her family. I pray, God, that you remember Bishop Davenport, my God, his siblings and the family. Remember, my God, Deacon Shannon, and remember, Lord God, the family of Mother Davenport of Connecticut. Remember Sister Cheryl Wilson and the Wilson family. Remember Sister Kimberly Clark and her family. Lady Cubitt and the Cubitt family. Remember Mother Viola Johnson today. Remember the Michael family, the Bradley family, the Sutton family, the Mosley family. Remember Jackie today. Remember Rita Porter and her family. Missionary Rosa Hicks and the family. Remember Shannon Lucas and family. Zach and the family. Rita Dalton and the family. Remember Elder Tall and his family. Remember Kenzie Johnson's family. Remember Pastor and Lady Willie White and family. Remember Mary Dykes and the family. Reverend Early Jones's family. The Brown family. The Mann family. The McGee family. The Williams family. The Watley family. Janine Simmonson and family. The Mosey family. Remember the Dickerson family. Evelyn Harrell. Oh God and her family. The Brown family. The Long family. Oh God, remember Pastor Curtis Jenkins and family. God, remember Mother Walker and Mother Moya. Oh God, remember my God, Jaleesa and Jackie. Remember Jerry. Remember Takesha. Remember Phoenicia and Whitney and their families. I pray today for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, Mother Close and the family. I pray God that you remember my God, Dr. Carter and the family. Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. God, remember Ishandarobo Sataye. Every grieving family everywhere. God, comfort them. Remember the Quarles family. Remember Mother Harrell and the family. Mother Grant and the family. God, remember them in a special way. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ, the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family. God, remember Jackie today. God, I pray today that you remember everybody that's grieving everywhere. God, give them comfort and grace today. God, remember in your precious name. Hallelujah. The, the Oh, God, remember the Kramer family. Remember the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds. Hallelujah. Remember my God. Hallelujah. The Meadows, the Moya. Oh God, the Perkins family. Remember the Dockery family. Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters. God, I pray today that you remember the White family. Remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family. Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. God, remember my God in your precious name. Hallelujah. The Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. I pray God that you remember the Nunn family, the Umstead family, Brenda and the Alan McNeely family. Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family, Tommy and Michelle, God, hallelujah, remember them and the Clark family, remember the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeze, the Washington Fields family, the
the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Ways, the Middletons, the Taylors, the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannings, the Boojums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family. God, remember the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs. God, look on the Davises, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayes, the Moors, the, oh God, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, and the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, remember them now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray today that you look on the body of Christ, every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Oh God, remember my God, every bishop, every elder. My God, remember every first lady. Remember my God, mothers and all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. Remember my God, the young people of the church. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, look on the church today and help the church, my God, to be wise. Help the church to be godly and to be righteous in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today, my God, for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray today that you look on school employees and students everywhere. God, I'm praying that you remember, my God, everybody that works, God, cover them and keep them. Everybody that needs a job, make a provision. Everybody on a fixed income, God, provide. And everybody that's homeless, God, open a door and make a way. God, remember your people today. Oh, God, look on this troubled world, trouble everywhere, trouble all over the globe, all over the nation, but you are the bomb in Gilead. You are the great physician. So God, heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you today like never before. Help us, lead us, guide us, protect us, and we'll give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, help me give God glory right now. Everybody on this line, help me give God glory right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is my declaration for today. The righteous eat to the satisfying of the soul. The righteous eat to the satisfying of the soul. That means God is going to make sure, hallelujah, that those who are godly are satisfied. David declared that I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. God is going to provide for the needs, hallelujah, of his sons and his daughters. God's going to give us the power to get wealth. God's going to make provision. We just need to continue to trust him daily. Trust him daily. Trust him, hallelujah, to provide for our needs daily. I still believe, hallelujah, Apostle Clark said this to me years ago, hallelujah, to our church. God still knows how to find water in the desert. That even if there seems like there's lack, God is going to make a way and God's going to provide. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. God, thank you, hallelujah, Lord, for just being together today. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those, hallelujah, who join us by conference call. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep sharing sharing the number. You can also stay connected through our podcast, hallelujah, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do and we thank God for them and we thank God for you and if you desire to be a blessing you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church P.O. Box 3552 Burlington North Carolina 27215 that's Refuge Temple P.O. Box 3552 Burlington North Carolina 27215 you can also give online our website is www.refugetemplenisinnorthc.com refugetemplenc.com 
and you can give on the donate page. If you have the GiveLify app, just simply type Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church to know you're in the right place and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O-N-E, capital R-E-F-U-G-E, One Refuge, One Refuge, and you can make your gift there. And we thank you for your giving, but we thank you most of all for being a part of the morning prayer family because God is using this prayer to bless people all over the world. And people are watching. They always, they don't all come in at 630, but throughout the day, so many people are watching and being blessed by the prayer. And we thank God for that because of all of us, not just Pastor Davis, but all of us, God is blessing people everywhere. So keep coming, keep praying. And as you pray, please pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters, our in-laws. Hallelujah. My nieces and nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us, guide us, and sustain us. The Lord help us to love and care for all children everywhere. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.